What the fuck is the deal, YouTube? What's going on here? It's your boy Leak Auto Repair, man. Ghetto Sling Boy over here, man. All right, I got this 2010 GMC Acadia. Um, this car's back in. As you can see in one of my previous videos, I fixed a door. Um, that's not a door actuator, a blend door actuator. Yeah, it had AC problems on one side of the vent, fixed that. Now it's back in for another problem. So, um, pretty much in this video, I'm showing you guys how to um, fix your, uh, what am I fixing? You don't even know, I don't even know. Let's go over to the parts I got here. All right, pretty much the, um, the inner and outer boots on the uh, CV axle. So that's what the fuck this video is about to be about. So, um, yeah, let's get to the fucking job. So, my man, take the fucking, take the wall off. So, my nigga got the wall off and shit. So, um, the reason why I'm replacing the uh, CV boots is because, see this? This outer um, joint right here, well, the outer boot, well, outer joint, same fucking thing. See that right there? Yep, all up on there. Let's take a look at the wheel. Flip the wheel over. You can see all this fucking gunk shit come from the fucking boot and shit. So yeah, this customer got the car inspected. Tried another shot that came back like, y'all, I'm fixing my fucking shit. So this is exactly what the fuck we gonna do. So, all right, let's get the job started. All right, first thing you wanna do when you are dealing with an axle is when you wanna remove it and shit, especially uh, to set up like that. Um, first thing you want to do is, um, you can, it don't have to be the first thing, but me, you, you can remove this axle nut, so show them, go ahead, take the axle nut off, there you go. Next thing you want to do, Sean, move the uh, the whole rotor set up. Push that out so you can see the back of the bolts. Just like that. Now these two caliper bolts, um, you want to remove. So go ahead and remove um, right here. So the next thing he's going to do, or you're going to do, um, remove these uh, two the nut and bolt set up on this uh, knuckle for the uh, strut itself. So go ahead and remove those. Get a wrench to hold the other side, stop it from spinning. It's not the right size, but at least it's going to catch it from spinning. You got a 24 millimeter socket on here. Alright, sorry about the noise, I got the air compressor on, but I'm pretty sure y'all can hear me. I'm gonna talk louder. So we got the uh, nut off, he's going to take a hammer and you're gonna bang right here. See this, uh, this pointy spot right here? It's enough cushion for you to get a hammer to tap on it, so it is safe. Or if you don't feel comfortable, just take your nut, screw it on a couple times, get the threads in real good, and then um, you're going to just hit it. So go ahead and take the hammer and bang it out. I'm gonna bang it hard. Continue, take the last one out.
be careful with this uh, ABS wire. I mean, the yeah, speed sensor. Like, really delicate. Sensitive for no fucking reason on some bitch ass shit. Alright, um, we got that right there. Cool, got the nuts. Where the nuts? Where the nuts at? Right here? I mean, screw them on. Bad practice, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Screw them on. got the ambulance in the background of course we in philly somebody got shot that's evident all right um next thing you want to do is you know what to do show them what to do pull the knuckle out of the strut go ahead don't be no bitch come on keep going Pay attention to your wheel speed sensor. Is it like dangling? Is it pulled? Anything in the way? Everything look good? Everything look good. Let me see. Let me straight. All right. So put your axle nut on. See, so you're not working on your stuff at, man. Thread it up until you see the face of it. Um, the actual, uh, the joint. Oh, this part right here. Yep, just like that. That's the attitude adjuster, in case motherfucker got a problem. All right, so we're gonna go under the car. I would raise it to like it. I got it on the locks. Let's get up under here. And what we're gonna do is take this inner joint out of the transmission. So, no, no, you're doing it wrong. Look at him. Not, you don't listen. Give me the goddamn prowl bar. All right, let me show you. Y'all young motherfuckers, y'all be rushing and shit. Y'all ain't mature about nothing. Amy? So basically, popping it out of the transmission. You got a good view, got a good angle. Make sure your, your, your angle game is good on the camera. You good? Yeah, we you good, Gucci? we good. You Gucci? We good. You watching? You saw that? You see that? Oh, shit, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. You must see mechanic. All right, y'all, that's my fault for talking shit. Um, what's gonna happen is, you showing them? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a fucking transmission fluid gonna come out, so make sure you got extra transmission fluid on deck. That shit happens when you take the axe while, it's fine. All right, y'all saw what the fuck I did. I got the shit popping. Now, look at him. I didn't, I never told him to proceed. Look, now you may proceed. Pull the axle out, son. All right. Okay, so show him the axle. Mm-hmm, see? That's why transmission leak out. It's pretty much sealed when the axle was in there. It's not sealed, but I got extra fluid on Didac and shit. Let me show y'all what y'all need for this car. Now, it's a GM General Motors product, so most of them always take the uh, Dexron. Three, four, five, six, whatever the fuck number it is nowadays. This one's compatible. So, let me put that one back. So, he got the axle out. Next. Um... You need the axle to be in something uh, sturdy, like something that's going to keep it together while you're taking it apart, unless it'll be just hard as shit to remove the boot. So I have a bench uh, clamp right here, and I'm going to move this, actually, I'm not going to move this shit out the way, because I don't feel like it. Shop is messy, yes I know. If you want to open up the vise, let me get this shit out the way for you. So go ahead and sit it in the vise and um, tighten it up. Hey, don't overkill it. No, okay. 
Yeah, I got a thing with unbalanced drive shafts and shit and axles and stuff, so keep it just like that. It don't have to be crazy. Repeat myself one more fucking time in case nobody don't know what the fuck this is. This is a CV axle. What is it called? Centrifugal something fucking velo constant velocity. CV axle. That's what the fuck it is. So, um, this is the inner joint, the outer joint, and this is the boots. And I said I'm fucking replacing a boot. Now, I bought both boots. I'm only replacing one. This one ain't leaking. We're going to keep it that way. I'm not being no fucking overachiever. I'm just replacing this one. So, Sean, next, what you're going to get it, what you're going to do is, first thing we're going to do in this situation, this is hot. I'm going to show you how to get this shit the fuck off. Um, see this fucking clamp locking ring thing majig right here? Take that off. So, you can get a flathead screwdriver. It's pretty much just locking the place. We're just going to unhook it. Pry that off. Wash your fingers just unhooking it out you can even fucking rip that shit out i mean the boot is already destroyed how much harm can you more, cause more so all right got that now pull this boot back Help, oh, take this clamp off too i'm sorry this one you might need you got a pair of dykes look at him hard head i told him what tool to get okay go ahead be hard headed go ahead mister let me let me see Now he's being hard headed. You know what? I'm gonna set this bitch up on a fucking tripod. I'm gonna show this whipper snapper how to fucking do this shit. All right, little young whipper snapper. He don't, he don't listen. He try to take this shit off if you want. So I'm gonna got the right one. So let me. Watch that pair of dice. Like that. Rip it off. Got that off. Pull the card over. Uh, so next you're gonna pull the um. Boot back, kind of twist it. Alright, so I, I got the boot, put it back. Now, next, uh, grab a uh, shop towel or rag or something like that. Um, these are always starting in place with a uh, lock ring, a snap ring, more so a lock ring. Um, rotate it around. Now, if I can remember, and I used to work at like those fucking other dealerships like Honda and Nissan and all of that corny ass shit. Um, they were like uh, some that didn't have fucking like a locking fucking ring in there or a snap ring. So what I would do next is I'm gonna grab a hammer. Like I said, grab your hammer and um, don't fucking destroy this fucking boot. I mean, not the boot, this fucking joint. So it's a specific way you hit it. So take your, your hammer and uh, pretty much you're gonna hit up in here and you're gonna like hammer it off. So, oh, just like this. Don't worry about the boot because we already got a new one. And then just whack at it until it come up. Make sure you catch it. So put that on the uh, cart. Now, this is what it looks like. This is the outer joint. This is replaceable. You could rebuild this. I'm pretty much semi-rebuilding this, except for I'm not replacing the joint. So, see? See that what they look like? These are the bearings in there. And I'll just gonna rotate that around in there. So, all right, got that out the way. Now, I'm gonna sit this down. I'm gonna sit this on my arm. My car. Alright, so this job gets real messy because of the um the lube for the uh the, uh, the joint itself. So now as you can see, since I got the joint off, what else I gotta do next, Sean? Take the fucking boot off. Just like that. Alright, so show them, show them the boot. Find a tearing it.
All right, don't worry about it. You can't find it. It's fine. But that's not necessary anyway because I'm not focused on it. Replacing the fucking boot. All right, so I got two boots. I was going to replace both of them, but one is leaking. Some people are like, oh, it's on the same shaft. Just replace it and it'll be the smart thing we do. I'm the one fucking doing the fucking job, and I know what the fuck I'm doing. So if one good, I'm only replacing the one that's fucking bad. Don't fucking fix something that ain't the fuck broke, right? All right, so we get a fucking shot top, all right? So next, um, don't worry about cleaning that shit off. That's fine. Um, make sure there is um, a lock ring in here. Right here. Let me uh, go grab my camera. So, exact you know like the old one so you gotta like force it on we finally got it on god damn boy all right now it goes to a certain position but that locks up on there this. yeah so push it all the way down keep going until you feel it stop it should feel it like lock on feel it Is it ripped? All right, that's fine right there. Okay, cool. All right, push this back. Now next, open up your grease. And you're gonna fill half of the bag up in there, all up in the boot, to rip it from the corner of it. Don't lose those dice, put it back in the cart. You don't have to clean the old grease, it can mix, it's fine. As long as it got grease in there. What are we looking like? Halfway through the bag? Keep pouring something in. All right, that's good enough. Um, now, take your joint. Push the boot back. Actually, I should have had you put the grease in last, but that's fine. Um, 
line that center have it pressed up against put it in from the bottom first angle it angle it not that way all the way other way angle it other way angle it down like that now um get your axle nut All right, now hammer the axle down. Um, you gotta, this is real crucial. Come here. You got fucking grease everywhere too. Make sure you kind of wipe your hands consistently. See this lock ring right here? Yeah, make sure when you put the shaft on that the bottom catches first. So that way this is, the clip is uh, pushed up. You get what I'm saying? So, cause if you fuck that up, you won't be able to get it on. And I mean, sometimes you can rebend it back. Put it on straighter. Hammer it. Wait, wait, wait. Damn. Go ahead, hammer it. Keep hammering till you can't go no more. More. Keep hitting it harder. All right. Next time, roll the thumb. Don't keep it. Keep this straight. Don't hammer it on the angle. All right. So he got that on correctly. So next he's gonna put the boot on. I'm gonna line it up. Keep the boot, keep the uh, joint straight. Straighten it out. Like that. That's on? We sure? It's locked in the groove, right? Let me see, let me feel. Alright, that's good. So next, um, Get your clamp out the bag. That's the universal clamp bomb. These clamps gonna look different. There's different ways to put it. Um, I do got two special tools for um, you know clamps for axles, but um, I've never used this design before, so it pretty much looks like it. Just loop it through and then um, lock this into place. So I'm pretty much just gonna wing this shit. If that don't work, I got zip ties. That's real suitable so go ahead and put those on it's the biggest one make sure they're the same size they're the same size yeah all right take the biggest one and wrap it around correct i rushed it i skipped the step it's it's fine i end up taking it back off now i can't use the clamp again which is perfectly fine because i don't give a shit because i'm going to use zip ties zip ties do you can get it tighter than the actual band itself um, the uh, aluminum clamp they give you or metal clamp. So um, finish putting grease in there put the rest of the grease in there Like use all of it Just put it up in a boot you don't have to put it in the joint where the uh, bearings are like those roller uh, those balls because um, There's already some in there and then when it rotates it, it'll like fill this stuff by it on its own so Fill it up they didn't give enough. Normally at the dealerships they give us like a uh, fucking tube of that shit. Alright, that's cool. You going you got more? You go back. Wipe it, wipe the wipe it, wipe your gloves off. Come on. This job, it'd be a pain in the ass because it's just grease, just every two seconds, it's fucking grease everywhere. So try to clean up much as you can. Clean the groove up so that way it can uh it can seat right on there. Alright. Put 
bottom one ain't in, I'm looking at it. Watch out, watch out, watch out. All right, go ahead, put it on. Flip it around, by the way. Make sure that boot don't move. It's cool, it's cool, don't touch it. Is it tight? No, not tight anymore. Had to cut the camera short real quick but got it on correctly and this may look ghetto to y'all this may not look right to y'all but i'm an experienced mechanic i'm asc certified i've been doing this shit for a while now this trust me on this one you can use this zip ties keep the boot on strapped on tighter than the actual clamp they supply the oem clamp so that's a lot better so you just trim it down some let me Now, I got that on correctly. That's tight at the bottom. They ain't going nowhere. So, Sean, go ahead and clean the boot up real good. Get a fresh, need more uh, shop tiles over there. So, he's ready to go back in. So, that's what he's going to do. I mean, that's what he on my words that's what he's doing right now so this uh lock ring right here um make sure this is not bent not fucked up or whatever this is what keeps the axle um locked in the uh, fucking transmission so go ahead put that back in jam it in there there you go so it's flush right there that's flush now you'll know let me show you what flush looks like like that now go ahead and put the um how to join in the uh the hub there you go now do I need to keep the cameras rolling for you know the the procedure to put everything back together or y'all gotta rewind the tapes but go ahead continue working So little cousin got everything back on right. The boot is on there right. Um, see all this uh, fucking axle grease and shit. Make sure you get all that shit off. So Sean, go ahead. Um, it just makes the job look professional when you clean it, clean up after yourself. So go ahead and spray it up with some brakes cleaner parts. Clean the same thing. Don't forget your uh, shop towel. Wipe it off. Not to be 100%, but hey, 60% shit. That's good with me. You ain't gonna get everything thoroughly. Just get what you can. Just wipe that all off. We, ah, this young rubber snapper right here, he assisted. I assisted him on a job showing you how to um, how to replace your CB boot, the outer boot, or the uh, left front axle for 2010 GMT Acadia. And a skill set level on a job, a C Tech can do it. It's really easy. It doesn't matter. The hardest part is job is probably getting the outer joint off the shaft because sometimes there is a, a locking ring on here that you have to take off first and you gotta like really hammer on it but this one it came off fine it was easy we got the job done and uh i did say you don't have to use the oem uh the, uh, the clamp the clamp that they supply you um you don't have to reuse those don't even attempt to reuse the uh the old ones so you can use zip ties. Zip ties are real suitable. They work good. I personally think from experience that zip ties hold up a lot. It actually has like a, a tight grip on it. It keeps the, the boot in place, so it's safe to use it. So that's it. It's my little cousin, Sean. Um, I'm Lee Auto Repair. Sorry. Of course, y'all know who the fuck I am. This is my motherfucking channel. And um, that's it. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button at the bottom on my uh, video um make sure you
subscribe button that's right there. And that's it. So, peace. <laughs>